would have thought that when you put a Yuri Bait anime in the poll, the Yuri Bait would definitely win. <laughs> So here we are with the first episode, maybe a second, we'll just have to see, of The Demon Girl Next Door. Context to those who cares, I have read a few chapters of this manga two to three years ago, or two to four years ago, I can't really remember, it's some years ago, and I couldn't really get into it because lo and behold, it is a four coma manga, and I do not like four coma manga. I tend to like it a lot more when it gets adapted into an anime. I've also have read a handful of Yuri Dojins with the two main characters, I believe. So I at the very least know the concept of the story. And I know that the main character is a, a girl who suddenly turned into a demon and that the girl next door to her, I think, is the magical girl. And they, they, they just go on some random shenanigans. And that's basically all I know about the series. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. I do have early access on the YouTube memberships and the full length up on Patreon. But other than that, let us get started. She looks like a girl from, uh, that, that one girl from, uh, Fate, Fate slash Iliad? Uh, what a... <laughs> <laughs> Relatable. It's morning? Oh, Wow, she lives in like a really bad house. Yoshida. Oh my god. Do you all? Is your sister? Very normal head. Oh, you've got a tail too. If any of you ever wonder when I look at the when I look over here, does it look like I'm looking away from my screen? Because my you know the anime is right here, but I'm looking over here. I still see it. <laughs> it's on both screen. Wow. Just the magical girl and the demon girl enjoying their time. Oh, look, you see the tail wrapped around her. God, oh, this is a really rundown hell. The day has finally come. Shick things. <laughs> Oh shit, the Yoshida family, huh? <gasps> That's cool, mom. <laughs> Back to bed with me. Oh my god. <laughs> we ran out of rice this month. Oh. Damn, what did the what did the Light Clan do to y'all? What, they stole your money too? Our power and luck. What the fuck? What? They, so they literally took your money. <laughs> There's something else. Oh, shit. Damn, your mom really is a part of the Dark Clan. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, let's... <laughs> you said as a doorstop. It's just a camouflage as a doorstop. <laughs> Yanda wrote. <laughs> she sent it via fax? <laughs> we 
you can't have any weapons, so here's a fucking fork. I don't like that, that's very gaming. She really just has it rest stuffed in her. <laughs> oh! Oh! She really just out here just mumbling her entire... Oh! Oh, there goes this. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. Why? They did say- they did say their- their luck was sealed away, so... <laughs> it's a rather squishy, uh... So, like, that- 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 that pillar thing. So, like, that pillar thing, is that the girl that was- <laughs> Well, somebody's about to get Izakai. In fucking milliseconds, dude! <laughs> 0 0.1 seconds, wow. <laughs> She's got her fork ready. Yeah, I don't know if you can, uh, stop this girl with- Yeah, she stopped the truck with one hand. Jesus Christ. This is such a small street, why is he fucking driving at, like- Why is he driving, like, 75 miles per hour? Please be- So anyways, can I have some of your blood? Tuna and onion? Oh, you are hungry. What? What does that even- how does that even make sense? It is, uh, they both have like one broken horn. Soft tennis. <laughs> She's hardcore cosplaying right now. <laughs> Convenience. <laughs> oh, dude, that's got a way on you. Well, you also need to put, like, different- You have to put both weights on both sides. There's a lot of dialogue that happens in this fucking show that's just- And the subtitles for High Dive is not helping it. Murderize. <laughs> There's a lot of weirdos in this town. Technically, you found her yesterday, so... Do you need to offer all their blood? Can it just be, like, one drop? <laughs> Why does this narrator sound very familiar? I mean... Momo. What the fuck? What does she save the world from what? <laughs> Must be like those uh, magical girls from uh, from my dress up darling, one of the series inside it. <laughs> Maybe you should work. Yeah, maybe you should just work on your stamina. Oh, you're gonna show her who's boss? Let's just go back to the room. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Damn, dude! Damn! She's not letting her. Oh no, she's tall! The little girl from yesterday. <laughs> I 
Yeah, what she said. Dante, stop talking about how fucking short she is. She has to bend down. I mean, you're not even a threat, so like... Yeah, it's just- she can literally stop a fucking truck! <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> Shamiko. <laughs> oh, she's testing your muscle. We're <laughs> teaching her how to fucking punch. Well, you know, at least she's a... Uh... Oh my god, she hurt her hand more than... <laughs> it's shit! <laughs> Using projectiles instead- Well, that's why you had a fork! Come on now! Where's your fork? Look, all you need to do is make her bleed. You don't need to beat her up. <laughs> She's so tired, she had to walk. <laughs> oh, look at all these nice looking fucking houses. And then we've got that fucking broken ass apartment building. <laughs> Tuna sea urchin and fish egg flavor. She likes fish, uh, fish, uh, fish food. I was gonna say fish food, seafood. What is she, just eating rice and potato chips? Got the little sister, real? Ryoko. Weapon encyclopedia. <laughs> Gotta figure out how to get my sister to go kill this magical girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how is she this unathletic? She's not even me who sits on the computer all day. How is she this unathletic? <laughs> I don't know about the demonic power part, but <laughs> from the crypts of poverty. What? Are, what is this forty yen a, a month tax? Is it that? <laughs> are you guys sure you're just not living in a really shitty place and stealing your money? <laughs> like, what does the mom even work for? I guess I'll just take this time to uh, let you know with the amount if they're gonna keep showing us her tail. I am. I am a tail person. <laughs> God, there's there, it, there, there's there's nothing that I I I really enjoy more than seeing. Well, I mean, not only am I a tail person, I'm I'm a monster girl person. All right, which I've kind of already made note in like my Yuri channel and all that. But I I love monster girls, and I especially love monster girls with tails, because there's because I I love. When monster girls with tails, they, 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 uh, I, cause like tail is often used in like terms of emotions, right? We can kind of see it the way with Yuko is doing it, right? And how like, you know, for emotion waivers or something, you kind of see her tail flickering and everything. Oh no, this is a preview. Stop, stop. Okay. But yeah, with the way that, you know, she uses her, her tail and it, it evokes like a lot of emotions and all that. And I, I, I like that. I, I like that very much. I also very much like... Uh, 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 the, the idea of just having, uh, <laughs> ha having, having a monster girl's tail just wrapped around your arm or something, right? If they want to, like, hold your hand or something, but they're a little bit too embarrassed, so they use their tail instead. Or just overall, their tail is showing their true feelings when they're trying to, when they're trying to hide their emotions and all that. Very fun very fun. Also, to reiterate on the tail thing, right, this picture 
of uh, 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 of Yuko and uh, what is her name, Momo, and how like Yuko's tail is like wrapping was it's like close to like wrapping around her. Very nice. <laughs> but all right, uh, I got I gotta go back and fucking go through this e e e fucking info dump that was happening in the beginning. Like Jesus Christ, I was just overwhelmed. I I, I didn't even know what I should be what 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 I should be thinking about. <laughs> I probably won't write notes, but what I will do is, well, I mean, episode by episode notes, but I, what I will do is write just the notes about the, the whole fucking light clan versus evil clan shit. <laughs> Load fulcrum effort. I think, is that like fulcrum, the point which a lever rests or is supported and on which it pivots? Like, I, I'm trying to, I'm like, I'm like, is that a, I mean, is, is that a physics thing? <laughs> Cause like the whole thing is that like, she got her head got fucking snapped by her mom so then she's just like oh load fulcrum effort my brain just bounced like a seesaw and also i guess that's also a joke on her small tiny brain perhaps because her brain is so small it's like just fucking bouncing around in her head <laughs> Forty thousand yen per month curse upon our family of four. But there's only three of them. Are they counting four as in like the, 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 the low the dark statue as well? Cause technically there is someone in there. So if it's 40,000 for a family of four, they, they literally charge 10,000 yen per month for who, who is getting this money? Who, all right. Uh, um, <laughs> all right. If, if they're charging you 40,000 yen uh, per month, which, uh, uh, let me, let, let me convert that. So that's about $280, not specific, not, n n technically it's 284.12, but $280 a month, $280 a month is, I mean, if you're already living in poverty, that's bad. <laughs> what are, what are, all right, what's the point of even charging them $280 per month at this point? <laughs> if it's $280 per, per, uh, o o over a month and it's for four people, so it's $70 per person that they are charging. <laughs> for what? What do you fucking need the 70 bucks for? What do you- <laughs> What? <laughs> There was nothing else they could seal away, so they- they- It's not even a seal, they just fucking extort you guys. <laughs> like, okay, if- if the Light Clan were the government or something, right, and they're fucking stealing money from you, sorry, I mean, okay, I'm just gonna say, like, stealing the government, stealing money from you every month, right, through taxes or whatever, I'd be like, okay, that's shitty, but, you know, that's the government and all that, you know, if you want to fucking fight for it, you know, you know, go up to, I was gonna say go up to Congress, but <laughs> this is Japan, huh? I don't know if they have a con- if they say- they call it a Congress. <laughs> but if it's just the Light Clan doing its own thing, they're the fucking Yakuza coming over to steal $280 per month from you guys. <laughs> Jesus fuck. And like, okay. What does her- what does her mom do? Right, that's also a, a question as well. What does her mom do that is going to make her, at the very least, you know, allow her to put out the 40,000 yen per month uh, and give it to them? What? <laughs> it's such a fucking chump change. <laughs> but, again, th th this is me not speaking from poverty, obviously, like, so- Cause, like, if she makes, uh, uh it- Cause, like, I would assume the 40,000 yen per month obviously isn't counted it towards the rent right and if she makes like i don't know thousand dollars a month or something and she has to pay the additional 280 and then she has to pay for rent as well and then she has to pay for grocery shoppings and hopefully uh, and then all the other fucking shit that might happen within the month as well right something might break or whatever like uh, 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 so like understandable that like they're literally in poverty and they don't have any fucking money to buy uh like a, a bag of rice right she said that we ran out of rice this month which shit right of all the things that you should be running out i i don't i i, I don't think you should be running out of rice because <laughs> like at the very least right if you don't have anything else to eat as long as you have rice it at the very least could fill you up but Okay, <laughs> okay, 
I'm moving away from this 40,000 yen per month thing. So you've somehow caused a lapse in their seal. So you must fully break the seal to gain control over the evil energy and master it. But that doesn't, but doesn't that make me the bad guy? What good's gonna come from doing that? And then... <laughs> one of those all you can eat and drink buffets a tower of pancakes i'll do whatever you want me to do mom god damn dude mom truly is a part of the dark clan just fucking uh, manipulating her daughter like that <laughs> aren't we the bad guys if we do this yeah but <laughs> you're gonna get all this good shit we've been living in poverty this whole time come on now we're gonna commit some crimes understandable <laughs> Just want to make note that despite me uh, also agreeing with Hugo about how like, oh, doesn't this make us the bad guys and all that. But there there are times when, you know, <laughs> the, 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 the bad guys who get fucking pushed on by what you would think would be the good guys. And eventually, it's, you know, the, the, the good guys buy at this point. And also, you know, uh, victories, victors, right? History and all that's written by the victors. And if it's the Light Clan who has won, then obviously they're the one who's writing history. And they're like, hey, we're the good guys and we're, we're, we, we've sealed these people away. And also by sealing, we mean that we literally just sucked all their money. We, we're sucking their money. <laughs> we're taking their money and their luck and their power. Get fucked. Uh, and, and it's just kind of like, all right, you know, maybe, m m maybe this is just the, the light clan's way of uh, rehabilitating the dark clan or, or whatever, but <laughs> seem a little unnecessary, unnecessarily cruel. Honestly, at this point, you might as well just wipe out the entire dark clan, just be over with it, you know? And then if they do, and if they try to do that, you know, I don't want no fucking bullshit excuses of, whoa, light and dark balance each other out. But obviously, uh, it's not very balanced right now. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that she says, if you manage to break the seal, you could get a little taller. <laughs> God, that's... fucking manipulation out here dude uh, okay so uh you must defeat a magical girl that sealed away our power then you must drain their blood and offer it to the demon god statue of our ancestors okay again why you gotta drain their blood why can't we just have like you know a little bit of blood <laughs> maybe the maybe the demon god statue just wants a little drop you know just a little taste mom open up we know you're taking a nap the doorstop. Very odd that, like, it's the doorstop, and it, but she also puts, like, the lock on it. Okay, so, let's see. Hold on. Okay, so, a wicked stone statue that harbors the banished soul. The banished souls, okay, of the Dark Clan. It's super sinister. Looks like it might fall apart. <laughs> well, I mean, it's been, it's gone through a lot of, uh, it's gone through a lot of, uh, 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 I was gonna say trauma. By trauma, I mean it's been it's been used and just tossed and and thrown and been used as a door stopper. You know, it gets hit by the door every time. <laughs> Agatwas, Yandarella, Loaded Lunatic, Shadow Mistress Yuko. <laughs> I yeah, very funny that she has to register her name to the demon directory for a demon girl name. Very, actually, now that I think about it. Why is there even a demon directory? Why is there- why, why, why does she need to have a demon girl name if the- if- if the Dark Clan has been- unless like demons are just separate from the Dark Clan, you know, because like the Dark Clan technically get dark power for- or, and all that, but demons are separate. But then they're also demons, but but they're like well, actually no. The reason why they look like humans because they got their power sealed away. Why does the why is the demon directory there? Unlike uh, other than the fact that it's probably run by the Light Clan. <laughs> All right, I've run down the info dump that was uh, in the beginning of this episode, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the center. All right, so that was episode one of The Demon Girl Next Door. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was 
a pretty okay episode. It was, uh, it was certainly there. Uh, uh in terms of, uh, the humor, there are a lot of parts that I'm just kind of like, okay, I kind of get why it's funny, but it's not really funny, right? And, and, like, there are parts where I feel, I, I'm the sort of person who laughs at jokes that don't land. <laughs> So, if it doesn't land for me, I, I find some sort of humor in it, and I just kind of chuckle about it too, so. But overall, I, I kind of felt like this this episode was, uh, it, it certainly was just an episode, right? It, it kind of started off with, like, all this info dump, and I was just like, okay, that's, that's, that's cool, you know? It's all going past my fucking head right now, so, but I'll, I'll, co I'll come back to it later. And... Uh, 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 and it's just out here showcasing us, uh, our character, right? Yuko, she's not very, <laughs> she's not very smart. And then we've got Momo, who is the resident magical girl who apparently saved the world six years ago or something. Like, she saved the world when she was in elementary. Like, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Like, she, she, she has lived a fulfilling life, I guess. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we saw Yuko, and then we saw Momo, and, uh, we, we saw, we also got, like, the Yoshida family in general. Uh, the one person that I did want to talk about, uh, just a little bit, that I don't like. I, I, uh, it, well, we're one episode in already, and I don't like her already. <laughs> and, and, and it's fucking Henri, right? An, uh, Henri, An, Henri, Henri, all right, anyways. This girl right here, right, who's supposed to be, uh, Yuko's friend and all that. Don't very much, uh, don't very much enjoy her character right now because she reminds me of one of those characters that, uh, uh I, I kind of have the same situation in, uh, The Eminence and Shadow with, uh, Scale and Poe, where I don't very much enjoy their character because they're the type of friend who will just toss you under the, uh, under the bus if it benefits them and, and such, and that's how I feel with Henri, and, you know, maybe if, uh, I had seen this anime, or if, or, or if this anime had come out, actually, no, I think this anime has come out, when did this, when did this anime came out, <laughs> now I think about it, hold on, let's see here, the television show started in 2019, yeah, okay, it is past my, my high school days, but, yeah, if I had, maybe I had seen this show somewhere around t the, when I was still in school or something, I might have liked her a little bit better, but nowadays, I'm, uh, I'm a person who much more enjoy, a, a, a tight group of friends or a tight group of family and all that, right? So I don't very much enjoy Henri's character. In fact, <laughs> I felt just, I, I felt a tinge, a tinge of genuine anger <laughs> when, uh, it, when we got Yuko over here. Hold on, I have to fucking, there it is, over here where, you know, Yuko's trying to like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking show her who's boss. And then Henri goes and she's just like, oh, don't you think that the, 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 the grip strength also correlates with how, how strong she can punch? And Yuko hears that and she's just like, Oh shit, maybe maybe I, I shouldn't pick with a, pick a fight with her, right? I'm, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm just like, understandable, relatable. Right, recess will end in three minutes. And, and Yuko's just like, all right, recess about to end. So we should probably just head back to the classroom. And her over here with her fucking shitty little smile. It's like, oh, you've got three whole minutes. To, there's plenty of time to pick a fight. And it's like, all right, I, uh, the moment I saw this, I was just like, all right, I know that you are doing this only for your entertainment. And, you know, there are times where, you know, I, I understand what, as like a group of friends, you want to fucking, you want to talk shit to one another. But uh, as long as in the end, you want, you, you hopefully you're out here benefiting others and, and benefiting your friends as well, even if you're being a little shit sometimes, right? And I, I don't know if that's what I wanted to talk, what, what I wanted to say. But, you know, like a, a nice little group of friends who talk shit, but in the end, they, they support each other. And like the way that I feel with Henri in this episode and in, in this particular scene is that I feel like she is only doing this for her own benefit aka herself I don't know why I had to say it. her own benefit I I don't know where my my sentence was going there <laughs> but you know she she finds it entertaining and that's why she's just like I'm gonna fucking grab your tail which by the way if uh you know if you're if you're <laughs> Monster girls don't exist, but you know, in, in terms of like the whole monster girl stuff, don't wrap their fucking tail. That's rude. That's rude as fuck. But yeah, here she is grabbing her tail, you know, opening up, and she's just like, "Hey, yo, uh, this fucking girl. It's uh, she. She's got something for you, right?" Trying to put her straight into the fight, which 
you know, if you, you can you can make an argument that maybe Andy is uh, has also with with her actions has also benefited Yuko as well, right? Because Yuko got to meet up with uh, Momo again, and you know, Momo gets to remember, oh, it's the it's the girl who who I I met yesterday, right? The girl that I saved from literally uh, who who's literally about to get his kind. <laughs> so. In terms of that, I guess Inter is an. If you want to make that sort of argument, that's fine, right? She she was kind of keeping the story going, you know, because if she didn't come in, Yuko probably wouldn't try to mess with her, or at the very least, try to do it in some other subtle way. But I feel like either way, Yuko probably would have ended up meeting her again, anyways, without Yuko's help. That's uh, sorry, not Yuko, uh, Anri's help. But yeah, I, I I think what they're trying to go for with this scene is that you know Anri is just the person who's instigating, uh, not instigating, but she's uh, <laughs> enabling the fight. Uh, she she's she's kind because of, like Yuko wasn't gonna do the fight in the first place, but. Yeah, essentially, she she kind of just came over. It's like, hey, she, she, she's got some business with you, right? And now she's just in the back like, yeah, fucking go get her, you know? Like, hey, go go fucking get him. It's, I, uh, again, if, if, if I had seen this when I was in high school or whatever, I would have been like, yeah, fucking, let's fucking go, Henri. But nowadays, I, I'm just kind of like, I'm sick and tired. <laughs> So that's that's uh, that's one of my rant about this is that I don't like Andre already, which is just really bad because I have this weird feeling that we're going to be seeing her for 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 some other times as well. So uh, it's you know it, it would just be like uh, uh, it, it, for the most part I'll probably just tolerate her, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll see <laughs> we'll see. And speaking of characters that I don't particularly like, I kind of also don't like Yuko as well. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I get her character, right? I I understand why why she's like that. You know, she she's 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 small brain. She's no muscles at all. Absolutely unathletic. Maybe that's also a part of the light clan curse. It then also it then just suck away your power and your luck. It also I mean I guess they did suck away her power. She literally has no power. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's just. I, I I think it's n not her attitude, her per her character, her personality that I don't particularly uh, uh, on why I have like a, a slight dislike for her. It's not because of her character. It's because of the way that the anime is presenting her with the uh, constant character uh, of her personification in the background just you know yelling something or whatever i'm not really into that whole thing it's just whatever it, it it very much distracts me from like the whole show and like i can't concentrate i'm just like what 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 is going on i <laughs> so which also counts to why i i could not pay attention to the the first part of this with all the info dump and she's just in the back just like fucking yelling something like her small low character but I think it's just the way that the anime is portraying her character that I don't like because I tend to I'm totally I tend to be totally fine with this sort of character. But in terms of the way that the anime is portraying Yuko, to which I would assume you know they're just doing it the way that the Forakoma is doing. So I guess it's the way the mangaka portrays her. So uh, with her, you know, being like the little chibi and yelling outrage, 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 and it's. I <laughs> I also enjoy this one where she's just like, I'm Shammy, and she just keeps coming in. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> very, very fun. But yeah, yeah, again, that, that whole tiny character personification and her just yelling in the back, like, grr, grr, I'm an angry, I'm an, I'm an angry girl right now, D doesn't really get me. In, in fact, I, I find it just a tiny bit distracting. <laughs> Not tiny bit, it's very distracting for me. <laughs> But that's probably just something if I if I'm keeping up with this anime, it's probably just something that I'm going to just have to tolerate. And then there's Ryoko, and then there's Ryoko who I assume is going to be the competent sister, right? Because Yuko is supposed to be the incompetent older sister, and then Ryoko is going to be the competent little sister, right? That that I assume that's going to be the sort of dynamic, unless she's also going to be incompetent in some ways as well. And we're gonna get like an incompetent duo. 
I don't know, but it seems like for right now, perhaps that's what we might get in terms of their duel, but we'll, we'll just have to see when we see it. I mean, we saw Ryoko towards the end of the anime where she's, uh, at the end uh, of the episode, where she's just holding onto a book of the weapons encyclopedia. <laughs> You know, she's, she's getting a, she's getting really serious about this whole thing. Also, I enjoy this nice little, uh, I was gonna say landscape for some reason, uh, overhead view, but also like a low gamey sort of view, right? Like it's the, uh, it's the overworld. There you go. That's what it is. And so like, you know, you, you see her walking out <laughs> and then the truck's coming down, which I wasn't really, I saw the truck, but I wasn't really thinking too much about it. Cause just, I was more thinking about like, wow, it's a nice, like, you know, overworld, you know, gamey world and all that. And then the truck came back, <laughs> trying to, uh, trying to izakai her. Also, again, this is such a small street. This fucking truck is driving. How fast is he driving? He has to be driving at least the speed of izakai. Also, all of the houses look really nice. And then we've got this shitty apartment complex that's in between everything. Why? <laughs> is it because it's the curse that's keeping it like that? Or like, what? <laughs> you know, you, you think that... Being in this neighborhood, having uh, all these nice looking houses and then having a shitty fucking apartment complex would, you know, remove the, uh, remove a bit of the beautification in the neighborhood. And you would want to beautify the places around you. I don't know, but that, that's, that's, whatever, that's up to the government, whatever the fuck they want to do, right? I do enjoy this part where she's... <laughs> <laughs> Technically, this is a, a, a real-time speed for us, but it, it, in the world, in the anime, it only took 0 0.1 seconds. Also, in her... Wh wh why does she... <laughs> That's very funny, too. Like, she opens it, and you think that maybe it's some magical stuff. No, it's just a 500 yen, two screws, and, and, and two pins. What, what does she need the screw for? I, I don't know, but I do find it very fun that it perhaps it's it's the... I, I mean, uh, we kind of uh, am seeing in uh, in this... What was that word? Okay. In this uh, in this world where there's weird, weird things, right? Un, un, I was going to say ungodly. Unhuman things. Inhuman things. Such as Momo being extremely strong and everybody kind of just... They're just kind of like, yeah, she, she she fucking breaks the goddamn grip test thing. So like, <laughs> she she can she can stop a fucking truck, right? They all know that she's a magical girl and that she saved the world six years ago, right? It's, it, this whole thing is not uh, not anything new to people. So like, they they see this girl with uh, with horns and tails and stuff. They're just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> oh, she got something to do with the magical girl? Yeah, whatever. It's it's, it's all right. <laughs> But in terms of that and the idea of like, oh, big war between the light and dark clan happened many years ago. And, and, and we've got Momo who goes and says, oh, it's take, it, I, I haven't transformed in a while, right? It's, it's been a while since I've transformed. The reason why she did is because of Yuko. And then with the pendant having just random fucking junk inside, right? It's the idea of, okay, some, it's kind of like they kind of eat, uh, uphold tradition and all that right the tradition of being a magical girl uh, for for the light clan and whatever but also with the idea of well we're kind of so separated from our tradition from this history that we've had right kind of like with how momo is interacting with yuko where they should be mortal enemies but momo's just like whatever <laughs> I don't give a shit. Like you're you're literally a fucking peon trying to hit me right now. I, I don't give a shit, right? This is like a small dark do dog barking at a giant dog. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. So it, it's that idea of like she's kind of upholding the tradition, but then at the same time she's probably just a little bit very removed from it, where she doesn't really care all that much. Perhaps that's the idea. And it's also the whole thing with uh, Yuko's mom trying to explain to her about the whole history thing and Yuko's just like, wow, cool story, mom. <laughs> Did you really have to tell me this? That Did this really have to happen on a Sunday morning? <laughs> so uh, there's also that whole thing, right? So very fun, very fun. Going back to Henri for just a second, going back to Henri for just a second, I, I would assume that she kind of uh, I I instigated this whole thing because she kind of maybe perhaps has an idea that Momo wasn't going to actually fucking punch the shit out of her. <laughs> right? Just fucking punch 
her stomach right out of her or whatever, right? She probably wasn't expecting that, but she, she was just still entertaining the idea of literally having a small dog going up against a giant dog that could just rip his head off at any time because it's fu it's funny entertaining whatever uh anyways i'm distracted at the fact that momo's wearing crocs <laughs> she's wearing crocs in school why all the other kids are wearing regular shoes but she's wearing crocs <laughs> i mean she's also wearing a jacket as well so Okay, so for the dynamic between Yuko and Momo, uh, it's it's the character who is not good at anything, right? Unathletic, not powerful at all. And then we've got a girl who's got a track record of saving the world, again, <laughs> six years ago or whatever. And she's super strong and perhaps she's got, I don't know, good grades or whatever. We saw her a little bit at her house. She's got a great fucking house. Must also be, also be getting the chump chain of $280 a, a month <laughs> from, from, from the Yoshida family. I don't know. Where, do, where does this fucking money go? <laughs> but, and who does the mom pay it to? Like, the demon directory? Like, wh wh where are you sending this money to? Anyways. Anyways, yeah, you've got... You've got these two characters who are very on opposite end. For the most part, I, I, I do enjoy this sort of dynamic and you can kind of see that Momo thinks that Yuko's a funny girl, right? Ha ha, funny, funny. So she's got to keep her in mind and, and you know, they're going to continue encountering uh, one another and all that. So very fun. And we kind of saw uh, that, that that one scene with her in her house and she's just with her cat eating chips and, and rice. Because why not? So perhaps... Uh, it kind of goes back to the, uh, not goes back, but goes to an idea of perhaps despite Yuko being poor and all that, she's got a loving family while Momo, despite having everything, she doesn't have that sort of familial connection or uh, having a connection with uh, having friends or whatever, right? Perhaps, right? There, there has to be some sort of flaw to Momo. She can't just be the perfect girl because we know that perfect characters got their own little perfect problems. <laughs> so I, I, I wonder if that's the case, right? Yuko's living in a small apartment, but the apartment seems very filled in compared to Momo who's living in a house. And we saw, uh, if I can find that scene, one second. So here's her house, very fecking big, ridiculously big. And then we see her her house, which is the only furnished thing is just the TV and a couch. And she's not even watching TV, I just realized. <laughs> she's just over here eating chips and rice, sitting on a couch with an uh, with a with a TV turned off. And also, yeah, there's just, just like absolutely nothing in this house. Right? There's no decoration or anything. So like, is she just living in this house alone? And then, and then there's the whole thing of I would assume she doesn't eat. Uh, she doesn't eat home cooked food. Maybe she's because uh, uh, again with her eating her bag of chips. Yeah, here her eating. She's she's not even sitting on the couch, but she's uh, she's she's just eating rice and and chips, and it's just. <laughs> right, so I assume she has the money, so she's just buying processed food right she's buying convenience store food or something she's buying and, and, and with her giving yuko some food right she's got pastries and then when yuko was hungry when momo was going to offer her some more pastries as well so i would assume she's the sort of character who has not eaten home-cooked food if ever <laughs> so uh, I would assume there's going to be that sort of dynamic, so that's nice. I, I don't really mind Momo's character. I, I do, I, again, I, I, I'm not again, but I, I, I like the, these type of characters, so it'll be nice to continue to see more of Momo. I do like Momo and Yuko's dynamic as well, so there's that. It'll be nice to see more of them together, so we'll, we'll, we'll just have to see how that goes. Well, what the fuck are these two girls doing? <laughs> We're just like, yeah, we're gonna communicate with each other through the fucking string and cups. But uh, it kind of enforces what I was thinking about Momo's character, right? She's sitting here all alone, just staring off into the fucking distance, daydreaming or whatever, maybe. And then here's the one opportunity where someone actually wants to talk to her, and that is Yuko, right? And so I assume that's gonna go for the whole dynamic of this girl is just way too perfect that people don't want to hang out with her or they put her on a bit of a high 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 pedestal i mean it's a lot of pressure to hang out with someone who has saved the world so 
<laughs> and, and there is and then and now we're gonna have yuko who is going to attempt to try to uh kill her or, or whatever and, and and so that's going to give her the opportunity to hang out with momo and you know momo uh, again i'm assuming it's probably gonna get her first friend or whatever so yeah there's uh there's that <laughs> overall I, I, well, I already said it, I, I thought that this was a pretty alright episode, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's certainly there, and we'll just have to see how I feel on the, on the second episode, right, because it's a bit of a mixed bag right now, I do enjoy the, the, the fucking, uh, 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 after, after I got control, and I could pause and write notes, right, I do enjoy the, 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 the fucking story about the, the light versus dark clan. It's, it's very fun. And I think it, it it's, it's very fun to, uh, uh to, to pick at. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I enjoy that. And I talked about the, the comedy where it's very much a hit or miss, but I'm also the person who laughs at jokes that misses for me because I find that very funny. Uh, <laughs> jokes that miss on purpose. Or jokes that just miss because they're trying to, you know, hit me with it. But there are some jokes that I'll, I'll, I'll still be like, oh, mm, you know, I, I get why it's funny, but get, you might get a little hmm out of me, right? A little, a little exhale through the nose. I, I like Yuko as a character. I don't like her the way that they portray her for the most part, but that's just something I'm going to tolerate. I like Momo. I, th I think she's a nice character, right? I understand. I I would. I, I I'm gonna assume that I understand what her character type is, her archetype is. I do not like Henri, <laughs> and I hope we see less of her. But I don't think that's going to be the case, unfortunately. But hopefully, Henri is the only character that I'm not going to like. <laughs> if I have characters that I'm gonna dislike, hopefully that's the only one. All right, and hopefully we're gonna get other side characters that I'm gonna be like, yeah, this is right. I like these characters. Hopefully, hopefully. There's Ryoko as well, which is like, again, I assume she's gonna go for that, like, competent little sister dynamic, but we'll have to see more of her. Her mom is also there, but... Yeah, yeah, for furry characters, uh, it's... I, I like more than I dislike, so there's that. I don't even... I haven't even thought about the... the I haven't even thought about the music yet, just because... I feel very bombarded in all my senses right now, but we'll see if it slows down just a tiny bit, but we'll, we'll just have to see. But I will say right now, with the way that I, I feel uh, uh, about the fact that this is a four coma uh, manga, and now it's been adapted into uh, the, the anime and the way that the anime is going right now, I'll be honest with you, I kind of like those Yuri Dojins that I've been reading <laughs> about, about this series a little bit better. <laughs> Feels a lot slower to me <laughs> when I like the fan fiction. <laughs> that reminds me, I haven't talked about this one part with the, the fork <laughs> where the mom is just like, look, in modern world, we can't really carry weapons. Uh, that's against the law. We're going to get in trouble. But here's a fucking... <laughs> Here's a fucking fork for you. And I just, uh, it, it's just so funny. Cause like, I mean, look, even though your mom gave you a fork, she is correct. Anything could be a weapon. All right. If you really, and, 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 I, and as I said, uh, you're, you're here for her blood, right? You're here for Momo's blood. You're not here to beat her into a Pope, right? And turn her all bruised and shit. You're that, that's not what you're here for. You're here for her blood. And so you need anything that's going to break through her skin to which I'm not even sure if bullet will break her fucking skin, but <laughs> you've got to try at the very least, right? There's multiple weapons out there in the world that is not considered weapons, but definitely can be used weapons. And the first thing is right on your fucking fingertips. All right. It's called your nails. There's also your fucking teeth. And I'm just saying, if you go to school and you're using, uh, you're using a pencil, that's also a weapon. I mean, the fork that your mom's given you, that's also a good weapon as well, right? There's always all these fleshy bits that's going to be very soft, aka your eyes. <laughs> look, look, if she's serious about this whole thing, you know, she, uh, she should, she should start using, uh, she should start using the, the weapons that's on her body. <laughs> But that is all I have for this episode. Uh, I, I, how long have I been recording this? Jesus Christ, it's an hour and 47 minutes. 
I need to stop rambling. Oh, uh, but God, there was just so much I wanted to fucking talk about and rant about for this first episode. But yeah, overall, it's okay episode. It's okay. We'll, we'll see how I feel about this anime uh, afterwards. I, I definitely don't feel like wanting to watch episode two. That's for sure. But we'll watch it next week. Right? We'll watch it next week. And uh, that's... Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll figure out whether I actually want to watch season two or not. But right now, I feel like season one might just do it for me, <laughs> and then and I'll be fine for me. But again, we'll we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But until then, thank you guys for sticking around. If uh, if I have anything else to say, I'll write in the description. And well, if I don't see you in the next episode, then I will see you when I see you.